Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and uh, welcome back to this next video and this is the third video uh, in the uh, chapter 2 of immunology and uh, this series of videos uh, that is going to focus on the types of the immune cells now when you talk about the uh, white blood cells these uh, white blood cells they are also known as the uh, leukocytes uh, we usually divide them into two classes one they are known as the granulocytes when there are granules present in the cells in the white blood cells they are known as the granulocytes and the second type they are known as the agranulocytes which is actually the uh, absence of the granules in the uh, type of the white blood cells so this a actually refers to the uh, absence of these uh, granules when you talk about these uh, granulocytes uh, the major type of the granulocytes that include the neutrophils uh, which is actually the uh, you can say 60% of all of the uh, granulocytes in your uh, blood system uh, the eosinophils that is the second type of the granulocytes and the third important type they are known as the basophils when you talk about these agranulocytes uh, the important types are the lymphocytes uh, that can include the b cells uh, the t cells and the natural killer cells the macrophages they are an important type of the agranulocytes and the third one they are known as the uh, monocytes so these are the granulocytes important examples and these are the agranulocytes with uh, important examples when you talk about the uh, differences between these granulocytes and the agranulocytes so the first important difference between the two is that these granulocytes they are going to contain granules in the uh, cytoplasm so there are uh, certain granules present in the cytoplasm of these granulocytes and we will uh, dive deep into the uh, uh, you can say components of these uh, granules uh, which are present in the cytoplasm when i'll be talking about the uh, different types of these granulocytes like the eosinophils the neutrophils and the basophils so i'll give you a detailed discussion of on the composition of these granules uh, in those particular videos these a granulocytes they does not contain any granules in their cytoplasm now when you talk about these granulocytes they are sometimes also known as the uh, polymorphonuclear leukocytes what i mean by that is that when you look at the nucleus of these uh, granulocytes they have multi lobed nuclei in each lobe they are connected by a short region of the nucleoplasm i'll show you the uh, image in a while so when you talk about these a granulocytes so they are known as the mononuclear leukocytes because they contain a, a large nucleus with only like one lobe so you are only seeing a, a single nucleus uh, if you look at this particular image, these are the granulocytes like the neutrophils, the eosinophils, and the basophils. And if you look at the shape of the nucleus, this is the uh, shape of the nucleus. So if you look at this one, you can see three lobes over here. And these lobes, they are connected to each other by this uh, uh, nuclear uh, membrane, part of the nuclear membrane. When you look at these A granulocytes like the T cells and the B cells, you can see that the nucleus, and you can say there is only a, a single lobe or you're only seeing a large nucleus in these cells. So that is another major difference between the two. That the granulocytes, they are also known as the polymorphonuclear leukocytes and the A granulocytes, they are known as the mononuclear leukocytes. When you talk about the origin of the, these granulocytes, they originate from the bone marrow and these A granulocytes, they actually uh, originate from the lymphoid tissue. If you talk about the number of the lobes in the granulocytes, I just show you the uh, images. So uh, there can be like two to five lobes in the granulocytes, uh, the nucleus of the granulocytes, they may contain two to five lobes and there is only a single lobe in the nucleus of the agranulocytes. These are the important example. We have already seen this. When you talk about the uh, types of the uh, white blood cells in the granulocytes, they are the eosinophils, the neutrophils, and the basophils. And the agranulocytes contain the lymphocytes, the monocytes, and the macrophages. Another important difference between the two is that when you talk about the function of the granulocytes, so they are an important component of the innate immune system. 
but these egg granulocytes they are the uh, component of the adaptive immune system like when you talk about these uh, t cells and the b cells so most of these egg granulocytes they are going to be the component of the uh, adaptive immune system if you talk about their percentage so when you talk about the whole blood so 65 percent of the uh, leukocytes they are the granulocytes and 35 percent of these leukocytes they are the a granulocytes so this is a, a general overview and the differences between the granulocytes and the a granulocytes and from the next video first i'll be focusing on the granulocytes and i'll be specifically talking about each and every granulocytes like the eosinophils with their structure and function the neutrophil their structure and the function and similarly this uh, series of videos will continue and i'll focus each and every granulocytes and that will be followed by the uh, structure and function of each and every a granulocytes so if you like the video please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell uh, do ask me questions uh, in the comment section if you have any and share it with your friends. I'll see you in the next video.